table topics, he said, I'll wait for you in the car. I'm like, are you kidding me? Now my husband's gonna walk out on me too. Really, what the heck is going on? So I get there and we're all sitting down and all these people are coming in and I meet the guy Byron that I talked to and there's several guests. And then I find out the speaker that was supposed to go before me, because I told him I, had, I couldn't go first. Canceled. Mm. I was the only person speaking at Toastmasters that day. <laughs> are you kidding me? The only one. I'm like, you know what, I just gotta do this. Because you know what, Dr. Phil's not here to critique me. <laughs> so I'm good. So I get up there and I get my speech. She introduces me and I get my speech and I do this. I'm like, all right, you know what? I'm just gonna do this. Sink or swim, I'm gonna do this. And I walked away from the podium, walked away from my notes, and I told them about my three points and I did my serenity prayer and my, my thing at the end and they, I had them on the edge of their seats. They were all sitting there, and I was done, and they were like, still sitting there, all in silence, and I'm like, I'm done now. And they're like, oh, okay, because they thought something else was gonna come. And when they critiqued me, I was really scared. I was really scared at that point, because these are professionals, you know? And I'm always, I, my, my critiques from Dr. Phil are way different than the ones from the classroom, so I was like, oh crap. The only thing she said to me was, I said three ums. Um, can I say that again? Three, only three. I've never gotten less than seven in class. I gave three ums and I talked a little fast. That was it. Everything else was great. She and she didn't have one of those rubric things. It was all handwritten out and so it was great. I was really excited. So what I took from this was a little bit of confidence. Um, I decided that I liked it. I'm going back. I told Roz where to go because they were great. It was really informal, which made it a little bit at ease for me. We didn't have to dress up. They did do the Madam Toastmaster and Sir, fellow Toastmasters and that thing, and that was kind of nice too. But I took some confidence, and I was relieved that it was over, <laughs> and it was one less thing I had to do for my portfolio. But I think it was it was a a milestone for me because it was like the one big huge thing I had left to do for this class. So to me, it's like. Oh my gosh, I'm almost done. So that was my body.